And so, so to follow up on what I was saying, that you know, this this 82 right here, this this area was the overnight high. <laughs> We're retesting, you know, the the breakdown zone and the high end of the overnight range. So I, I'm looking at this 82 to 85 as as a resistance zone in a fairly neutral kind of environment. I'm not interpreting that. What, so what I'm saying is overnight, this last bar plus the overnight range has been defined as, you know, the support area, the test area that need to be done after that news. So I expect that we can test through here, but I also expect before we're done, we can go back and test what has not been retested after that news. And that's why I think we've got to chop you open. <clears throat> so traders who played early, as we suggested, play for the half gap and gap. <clears throat> try to get to your 79 and then try to get to your 80 if you can, 80 and a half area. Great. And then if you want to flip and try your 82 to 85 zone as resistance, as a scalp short, that makes sense. So just by playing sh aggressively long earlier, taking profits when I suggested that 77, <clears throat> you know, pre-market, 77 made perfect sense, right? So if you play both ways, that's how a true trader will try to at least get something out of that, that range that we defined. You know, because you're not biased in your mind with <clears throat> got to sell off and go to, you know, 16 whatever. Got to go up and get 17 on or whatever. We're just defining the, the immediate range that needs to be resolved, where we expect the battle to be, be fought first before anything else. This yellow box represents that range based on the breakdown and the overnight range. And yesterday's 75 support that we said, probably 75 would be our the support they'll try to hold for now. So it was tested overnight and held in low volume. That's all we know. That's all any good trader knows. And we said give it a whack, 82s to 85s if you want, short side. If you want to buy it. The 75 to 77 is the aggressive part of the zone. And the battlefield in between. R really, <clears throat> all these fancy indicators and stuff, they, they don't help anybody. Just, just knowing what we know helps us. Market is going to define a range and fight that battle, and it's going to go to a, a new range and fight that battle. And let me clarify this again, just so we're all on the same page. Oops, wrong one. And I think probably uh, option X, maybe, you know, early trading, <laughs> most traders will be inclined to overtrade while this range gets resolved. So what I'm saying is that part of the bar has not been tested either. All we've done is come back to the scene of the crime this way. A very, very nice uh, conundrum that the, the market has presented traders this morning. Is it bullish or bearish, you know? And I said that would be the smart thing the market would do if it went up and made a new high. Because now the possibility exists that we've got a one, two, three, higher high coming away from that previous high. <clears throat> so that's why today I don't want to rule out a retest of that area, right? We'll leave that open as a possibility to my thinking.
said that, and, and if not today, then Monday or whatever, you know. <clears throat> that that zone still needs to, to be understood. Is that resistance or not? I'm going to retest. So options expiration, <clears throat> we said get her done. If you played early today and I suggested small bites, because I thought that's the type of trading we would get as we needed to resolve this, <clears throat> we need to break down the 75s to do any more damage. Until then, that's considered support. If that breaks, then any, the door opens to that 72 idea. And I've got to take this. It's my wife. Sorry. <laughs> 